keep in mind, I've got no reaction accessory. I've got no Swift Perry gear. I do have some pretty janky stone skin. So I threw it on my Necrit. I threw it on Wither. And I was like, I've got to be able to beat somebody. <laughs> Here's the story of Stu Gaming staying awake instead of sleeping for at least three hours. Maybe 2 a.m. I went to bed. And here's our journey. So I was using Stone Skin on the crit. I was using it on Wither. If you have some great go second teams with Stone Skin, besides Cardinal, we've already done that to death on stream. Let me know. Now here's my Candrophon. My Candrophon is a counterattack Candrophon. Counterattack accessories, counterattack gear on. Don't touch him. Because you're gonna get slapped. Let's go, Candrophon. Our Leoris is already down. Lion O did not do his sword win. If you guys ever watched Thundercats, Lion-O, he's on the ground right now. Believe me, I love Leoris. Leoris is amazing. We're stunned, which is never a good thing. Remember, I'm laying in bed doing this for hours, so it might not be the most responsive with doing the next skill. So we remove the stun. Don't touch my Candrophon. Candy will come after you. Spoiler alert, we win this. I know it doesn't look... Don't. I know it didn't look like we were going to win this, but we did. Last week, just like this week, all those, there's no, there's nobody in platinum. So everybody's pushed down and I'm right at gold five. So I'm facing against some really strong teams. Okay. We got to win there as well. Let's go. Now there were some teams on here that I just couldn't beat. So now I switched over to Aneath We Blood Twin because all I needed to do was kill this one damn Rotos. Plus four Rotos, mind you. Look at that. Plus four Rotos, plus four Siffy. I'm like, I'll be damned. All I have to do is kill this Rotos. I don't have plus attack though. So it's a little hard without that increased attack to kill this Rotos. Rotos and Siffy together. I mean, that's the arena meta, isn't it? I mean, honestly, if you want to play Rotos, which I don't have a Siffy, I've got three Rotos. Please one day give me a Siffy. If you want to play those two together, it's the easiest way to get secure wins in Platinum Arena even. So don't feel bad if you've got your Rotos and Siffy. Just give them some support and just come in there with a just max powered out Rotos. I would love to have a plus four. Luckily, he's down low enough right now. We were able to drop all their buffs. And I just did an AoE instead of doing his A2 three hit execution, which is what I was planning on doing. I was like, okay, I'm going to be able to beat this Rotos. Now, how long is it going to take me to take these three out, right? Well, not that long, I guess. Let's go. Let's go, Anithwi. This is a plus three Anithwi. Maybe I could get one more soon. That's how many Anithwis I've gotten, but still, no Siffy. Now, I know this isn't reset. At reset, there's a lot of slow teams. But what do you guys use your stone skin? And look, she didn't even have a chest piece or a glove. I forgot. What are you guys really using your stone skin on? I would love to put my two more two macabres in stone skin if they were strong enough to kill someone, which I don't have that kind of stone skin gear. I would love to put a warlord in stone skin, at least one of mine, just to uh, give us a chance there. But it is a 50% chance to have stone skin be removed, which you just saw it got torn off of our uh, necrit. So it's not 100%, right? It just doesn't work that way. If it did... It would be really broken. And you never know who has stone skin on when you go up against them unless you're playing in arena all the time and you really know people's teams. And I'm sure they have multiples to trick you to throw them in like I do. Ones with stone skin, one with really good speed, high accuracy, high resistance, just different type of champions for different situations that we're going to play against. Come on, Necrit, let's go. Or Candy. So if you've been watching, we're going second. We're trying to do some big damage it would be really nice if i had a full set of reaction accessory on anyone i have a few rings here and there but i just don't do cvc we don't participate in that and it still would be kind of cool sometimes to have swift parry but i don't have any room right now we're just using stone skin on two so i wouldn't really have swift parry on leoris for sure i wouldn't and then i wouldn't have it on the way i have my candrophon set up either so swift parry is kind of you know, it's annoying if they have the right team with all these revivers. You've seen those teams that are just there to annoy you. So again, I come up against another Rodos. I don't know what I'm doing with uh, Samar Jim Curse. I had thrown a lot of things against this team. The issue is I'm going up against, and you'll see this a lot, a lot at the top end players during the week. 
not at reset, but during the week, you'll see tons of this team right here, this whole entire team, immensely strong. Siffy is so fast, you've got Warlord and Kaimar cycling through their abilities very quickly. So Warlord's putting your skills on cooldown, plus, don't forget, putting your turn meter down as well, a lot of times. And then with them cycling through that, sleeping you, turn meter reduction, skills on cooldown, it gets just too much. Especially when you're they're running like a, a 370 to a 400 Siffy. They just cycle through this. It's just it's just a, a madhouse. So I got really frustrated that this team fighting it like a hundred times. I don't even know why I have Samar in there at the end. I was just throwing in bullshit thinking it's late at night. Look, I didn't sleep. I was up at 2 a.m. And I was just throwing in whatever I could to be like, okay, maybe he'll come over and hit my gym cursed. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did get tired of fighting this team. I'm going to show you here is a Siffy. Do I win this one? Let's go forward. So then I was like, that's it. I'm going to try to go second still because we're using, there we go. We're using Valkyrie. Sleep. Oh yeah. yeah. Here's how I got him. So sleep, but everybody on that team, this is shit storm. Stevie, what's up, buddy? Stevie knows me. I've done tons of summons for him. Everybody on his team is seriously fast. The Kaimar, the Warlord, and the Siffy are all extremely fast. And I was using so many different combinations to come in here, even with Valkyrie, once I went to Valkyrie, and I couldn't catch up. So eventually then, I brought in one of my really fast Kaimars, and I was like, okay, I should be able to just... After, after I lost like three or four times, he even messaged me on Discord. He's like, Stu, what were you doing? What's going on here? It didn't really matter because last week, if I if I lose, I lose a certain amount of points, but then I don't lose any more after that initial. And then when I win, it probably just dropped him down like everybody else. Like it's doing this week even still. They haven't fixed it. You get a win, you get a few points, like six, and then eventually they come back and keep, they eventually beat you. It doesn't matter how many times it takes. And then you lose like 15 points. That's why Arena right now is so messed up. So eventually I beat, yeah, is that Stevie? My man, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's you. Got him after like a hundred tries. Okay, another one. And again, this is the this is a person on the same tin. So I was going after people on one whole tin list. I wasn't refreshing. So this is another team, just like it, extremely fast. They get that increased speed. They cycle through their abilities just so fast. So I kept the same team, right? Yeah, yeah. Am I going to get this one too? I kept that same exact team. This is not a repeat of the last team. Okay, Warlord, right? Now let's kill. Hurry up, hurry up. You got to get him before he uh, gets all his debuffs removed by Siffy's passive. No, I lose to this. I lose to this. That's what it is. Watch this. I've got no revivers. I've got no healers. I do have the shields, but Prince Kaimar is there on a three-turn cooldown. And our stuff's going to be... Watch. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. We got slept. Oh, now now all of our all of our stuff's on cooldown and a whole bunch of turn meter reduction. Re refresh. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Prince Kamara. Refresh it. Let's let's put the speed up. I'm gonna pick the speed to 1.5 times. There we go. This is a recording, of course, from my phone. We're speeding it up and I can't get a kill. I can't get a kill. All I do is get slept and then turn meter reduction. And then maybe that was a counterattack, right? And then once he was dead, it was like done. There's nothing I could do. I'm done with that. So I got really frustrated against that team. So I brought in this team. I was like, I'm so tired of fighting this team and teams like it. They're just cycling too damn fast. Yeah, okay. I thought he was going to kill me. I really thought he was going to beat me up here. But luckily with the refre reflect from Brogni right there, dead. Get out of here, Rotos. And then we got the win. Now, this was at the end of the night. I needed to go to sleep. I was like, okay, I tried to clear all 10. There was one out of the 10 I couldn't clear that was like this, like this team. So I couldn't do it. Just having some fun late at night, and I wanted to share it with you guys. But I also want to know what you're using your stone skin on. What kind of teams should I make? Especially if you're going up against a Warlord and a Prince Kaimar. Is there really a go second team when it comes to something like that? Is there a good, viable go second team when you're up against a Siffy, Warlord, Kaimar, something else? What could I do to be a really slow team and be able to pull that off? What would work best besides having another Siffy, a couple more to Macabs, or I don't know, in Stone Skin, or 
I'm sure there's there's plenty there's plenty out there. You guys are the arena warriors. I know you know plenty of ways. Just let me know down below. Appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys all in a video soon.